<laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. We have Tom Franklin. There is in the back. Inter introduce the other friends you have here with you today. Well, I have uh, Mickey Selegman. Mickey, a lot of you will recognize, has been in the area for quite a few years. And he had the hobby shop over on the, uh, the old shopping mall before it closed down. Mm -hmm. And we have, and, and Mickey's kind of our, our senior statesman. <laughs> Mark, oh, thanks for that one. Mark Wachtel is our youngest member, and uh, he and his dad joined us about, oh, I guess nine months, eight, mm -hmm. nine months ago. And what do you guys do? Play with trains. You play with, well, that just gets <laughs> right to the point. Don't you? <laughs> we now, get to Mickey, your, your, your fascination, I'm sure, started as a child. Yes. Uh, just a year or two older than him. Okay. Okay. And who, who got you addicted to the... Uh, My father. Your father. Okay. So he's a train man too, huh? He was. Model trains back then? Model trains. Okay. Yes. Okay. Was there only one scale back in those days? No, there were two principal scales back in those okay. days. Now, how many scales are they now? Too many to count. Yeah. So what we're talking about scaling is the ratio to what it actually is, either small or medium, large, or whatever. There's different sizes. And Over we have an example of on that. On the table. On okay. the table. We do have a table behind there. And are you ha you're having an exhibit at the library, right? At the uh, Donald W. Reynolds Library. You bet we are. Okay. And that will be on November 10th. And that's going to excite a, a, a bunch of new uh, people addicted to the trains, right? Well, well we, uh, we sure hope so. We yeah. enjoyed it last year, and uh, so we're looking forward to another another year of it. Yeah. What What is the fascination with trains, anyway? I mean, it's, uh, for some people to go, that's just simple. They just go around circles. What's What's the fascination with them? It's fun to build them. Do what now? It's fun to build them. Fun, fun to build, build them. them. Like to add on pieces and things. And I've been building most, well, some of them, that, and I just started, and I've already built um probably three or two, or two when you say build do you, t you talk about the you start with the engine or you start with the car and then um, right now i'm just doing the cars yeah i started out with the base and then i worked my way to the um couplers and then the wheels which is really hard because the couplers you want the ones that you can run on your train set mm -hmm. and others and there's a lot of different couplers that are really hard to put on mm -hmm. because some of them are plastic and are easy to break. Mm -hmm. oh. I've learned that from experience. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You learn that from experience, huh? Yeah. Well, I didn't even know what the word coupler <laughs> was until just this moment, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you're a step ahead of me on that. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved in trains? My dad. Your dad, and he's been involved yeah. for a while? Mm -hmm. They used to come in the store. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. where, where, you talk about a store, and I know you had a store right next to us when we were over in the, right. the, the old town mall. Mm -hmm. uh, where do people go down for parts? Branson, uh, Springfield, Ball Knob. So they and, do a little traveling uh, out, of, out of the area. Yeah. 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 And, and you, Jacksonville, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And you build the trains, like you actually build the cars? Yes. Kits. Ki kits, mm. okay. Mm -hmm. Some people have that capability. There's others of us that cheat and buy them what they call ready to run. That, right. way, that way when I open the box, I can put it on my track. And Okay. And, not and have it's to, ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, the, that's just the first phase of the, the hobby. I mean, uh, don't people build landscapes and scenes and yes. you have the little trees that look real and I mean, that's the whole thing, building towns and all of that. There are, are many facets of the hobby and that's what makes it so neat. There's something for everybody. Like you suggested, there's, there's people that do nothing more than build the buildings to the right scale to yeah. fit the trains. And then there's people that do nothing but build the trains and never have anything but have their trains all displayed. Yeah. So there, there's just so many different facets to it. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk, up, talk about the event that's at the library. When is, when is that going to go on? That's it does a, a month long, right? Is it a month long event? Well, we actually have two events coming up at the library. Oh, okay. uh, for the full month of November and December, we have our display, and uh, we're 
be on the lower level of the library and uh, it's it really works out nice. We had so much youth interest in it mm -hmm. last year because we were on the lower level as well as the upper level. But uh, So that's the full month of November and December. Sunday, November 10th from 1.30 to 4.30 we're going to have our open house and this will be the second year we have done that. And that will be upstairs in the Knox A and B rooms, the big area mm -hmm. upstairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have trains. And Wyatt's going to be the official conductor on, on one of our saver. trains that people can come in and sit down and, and uh, learn what it is to switch a train, okay. move cars mm -hmm. from one location to mm -hmm. another. Mm -hmm. And Mickey's going to have a couple displays uh, that people can watch. And we're going to have uh, other displays that uh, we've got a, a small riding train and we have some others that the, the kids can actually run mm -hmm. and uh, so that's that's a lot of fun when we can get them actually doing something and then we've got a, a small train for the little bitty ones that uh, they're not going to hurt it it's a wood train okay now do you guys meet I guess and are interested in maybe adding people to your group how, how often do you meet and where we meet once a month, and uh, that's on the first Sunday of each month at 2 o'clock. And we meet at various members' homes. Uh, we're going to be over at Mickey and Mary's in uh, June, and we'll be at uh, my home in uh, October. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we move around okay. so that we get a chance to look at, see what everybody's doing, and, and of course comment and tell them what we think about what oh, we're I doing. Oh, I bet. I bet. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming, and uh, for people out there that want to get up c close and personal and meet some of the guys that are in these clubs, you can meet them out there at the open house, and the, that date again is when? November 10th, Sunday afternoon, November 10th. That's the upper level at the Donald yep. W. Reynolds uh, Library. You bet. Great right. facility for right. us. And there's also a phone number if they are okay. interested in calling. Throw that It'll one be out. with Gary Kingsland. And Gary's phone number, I had to write it down with big letters here, okay. 481-5747. Gary Kingsland at 481-5747. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it very Thank much. You. Yeah. Up next, uh, we're going to talk with uh, the uh, Mountain Home Junior High School students. And there goes Mickey. He's leaving the building right now. And, and he's going to talk about a veterans program. Stick around. Stay with us. You're watching 726. Yeah.